Hello Wonderhubbers. My name is Roy. I'm one of the many volunteers here at Wonderhub and I am a musician. I played for 33 years in the Saskatoon Symphony Orchestra and the instruments that I played in the orchestra are all called percussion instruments. What is percussion? Percussion instruments are any instruments that hit. So you have a percussion instrument if you have two hands. There you go, that's a percussion instrument. You can also stomp your feet on the ground, that's a percussion instrument. Maybe you have a nice sounding belly like mine, that's a percussion instrument. So right away we can play a really easy percussion song and maybe you've been to a rush game or a blades game or maybe a game in your school where you're cheering for your team and you might play that song. So that's what percussion is. And today I'm going to show you how you could find some drums in your house. What is a drum? You probably already know that. We need a container of some kind that has a covering on it and we bang on it and that's a drum. Look at all these drums I've got here. I'm going to be playing some of these and I'm also going to show you how you can make a drum with things that you can find at home. So I have found some things around Wonderhub and my house that are very much like real drums. This is a mop pail and if I hit the bottom of it like that, there we go. That's a very simple drum. We happen to have these metal things at Wonderhub. They get used for centerpieces sometimes if there's a banquet or who knows what else. And that is a really cool sounding drum. There's a tin can. I saved it out of the recycling. And this is a food container. I think I take my soup to work in that. So there we go. We've got some drums all ready to go. And we can hit them with our fingers like I was just doing, or we can find something in our house that we could play on them. These are a couple of plastic forks that I found in my house. Here we go, we have a drum set. Now, you might find some other things around the house that you can play in your drums. Now those are really quiet. Maybe that's a good thing in your house to be quiet when you're playing drums. One thing that people in Africa have been doing for a very, very long time is taking little branches from trees and bundling them together to make drumsticks. And we actually still have sticks like this that we can buy at the music store. They have a very complex name. They're called stick bundles. Bundles of sticks. That was a little joke. I'll try not to be funny anymore. So instead of holding them like that, I could take some painter's tape here. We go through a lot of painter's tape at Wonderhub, don't we? You can tape all kinds of things together. I remember at an adult night that I was attending and working at, volunteering at, that they were making bridges out of popsicle sticks and tape. Maybe you've done that at Wonderhub, I don't know. Are you looking forward to coming back to Wonderhub? It's not very fun staying at home all the time. Although there's good things and bad things about everything. So I'm sure there are some good things about being at home all the time. Like playing on a homemade drum set. There we go, stick bundles made out of drinking straws. Now, the drums that I played in the symphony were a little bit more complex than that. We can take a container and we can put a drum head on it. I'm going to use cellophane because I know that's probably something you have in your house already. 
it's not going to go very well for me, is it? Come on, cellophane. Oh, I'm just ripping it badly. Here, let's try this again. There we have some cellophane. And we're going to cover our container with the cellophane. I'm going to stretch it like that. And we're going to try and pull it tight all the way around. I have a rubber band that I'm going to put around the top because the cellophane won't hold very well when I'm drumming. So that's how a real drum is made. It's a container that has something stretched on the top. Now, ever since human beings were on the planet, they have made drums like this, but they didn't have cellophane until the 20th century. So they would use the skin of animals that they had killed. Oh, I shot the elastic band across the roof. That was fun. <laughs> Human beings have been covering drums with animal skin forever and ever. So you kill an animal so that you can, thank you, Jocelyn, have some meat to eat. And you can use the fur on the animal for clothing and who knows what else. And by golly, you can cover your drum. With oh, okay, so we found the rubber band that went shooting across the room, got ourselves a nice fresh piece of cellophane, and we're stretching it across the drum. And there we go. As I try to pull the cellophane tighter and tighter, what will happen to the sound, I wonder? As something gets tighter and tighter. Some people might say, oh, it might sound louder. But what really happens is that the sound of the drum is higher. Now I'm going to hold it close to my microphone because it's really quiet. There we go. We've made ourselves a cellophane drum that we can add to our drum set. Well, that was lots of fun, playing drums. I hope you had fun at home. I hope you discovered some things in your house that you can use as drums. And maybe you can leave a comment below this video and tell me what kind of drums that you have at home or if you had some fun today. It would be really nice to hear from you. Um, and uh, for future programs, you can follow us here or online at wonderhub.ca. Thanks for playing.